What up Ninja Clan and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am as always your host the Atomic Ninja G and today we are back in the region of Paldea and I am very very excited because today is the day that we're going to take on this terror raid, the seven star terror raid because Mewtwo has arrived in the game. Now, before we go in and start trying to take him on and trying to catch him, there's a couple of announcements I want to make you all aware of right now. So, um, as of today, if you're watching this on release day, you will have basically one week to catch Mewtwo, okay? So, Mewtwo will go away on the 17th of September at 11.59 UTC. If you're in the UK, like me, that means 1 a.m. or 12.59 on September the 18th, which is a Monday. If you are on uh, PST time in the US, uh, then that is 4.59 on Sunday the 17th of September. Okay, so really quick, UTC, 11.59, 17th of September, PST, 4.59 on Sunday the 17th of September and if you're in the UK like I am GMT it is 12.59 on the 18th which is a Monday so basically if you haven't caught him by this time next week you don't have a lot of time to catch Mewtwo also before Mewtwo goes away the new DLC for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet is released on Wednesday the 13th of September which is this coming Wednesday the next Wednesday that we all live through that's when the DLC drops I am super excited for this there are pre-order bonuses go check them out go to the Nintendo eStore um, download it if you want to get the DLC and the pre-order bonuses get them now because this coming Wednesday it drops and I guarantee you we'll be making some videos when it does all right, that's enough from me. The first thing you want to do when you are heading to a Mewtwo raid is make sure that you push the right button for the map. <laughs> All right, so you are looking for... Oh, my character's in the way. Of course they are. All right, see that symbol there for the raids? That's the symbol we're looking for, okay? We are looking for this dark, purpley, swirly kind of thing. It's a psychic um, terror type. It's only going to be psychic, as far as I'm aware. We're going to walk up to it. Make sure your internet is on. I've already checked this, and here we are. Now, I am not going to be challenging this thing alone, because I'm not going to do it. I'm going to challenge as a group. Uh, invite friends. I'm going to let anyone join. So, hey, if you're watching this, and this is you, congratulations, you get to join this group as well. So, guys, it's got a two-minute countdown, or three-minute countdown, I am going to fade out and I'll bring you guys back in when the raid starts because otherwise you're sitting here for three minutes listening to me prattle on about nothing. So I will see you guys when the raid starts. Alright guys, here we go. The raid is about to begin. We've got four players. We are all using Moo. Now something I did totally forget to do was to check what moves I had. Um, but here we go. There's the four of us. We've all got Moo. Four Moo. One Mewtwo. Let's do this. All right, what have we got? Mewtwo, the unrivaled. Well, we're about to rival him. Mewtwo's a nerve. Uh, your tomb is too nervous. Wow, he's calm mind. Okay, calm yourself, Mewtwo. And then let us do something. His defense rose. Okay. Oh my days already! Ouch. Uh, right, let's see what we've got. We've got Aura Sphere, Psychic, Life, and Life Do. Someone remember what do these do? Mysterious Water Run restores HP of itself and allied Pokemon currently in battle. Okay, a Wondrous Life put reduced damage. Let's use Light Screen on all of us. Okay, he's gonna use Ice Beam on me. Yowzas! Okay, so we're gonna use that. Uh, Strucklebug, okay. Um, let's use fighting on Mewtwo. And use Ice Beam on me. Good grief! I, I might have to Terra Asteroidize. Oh, this is not going well. This is not going well. Let's see what happens if I use Psychic. Use Calm Mind. Okay. 
This is not going. We're all. I mean, I'm level 100. I don't know what the other guys are. Um. Wow, we're not even touching this guy. Yowzas. Can I terrestrialize yet? No. Alright, let's keep going. Maybe next turn we'll use a heal move. Uh, one guy's out already. Come on. We need to chip away at this thing. Uh, can we, we can terrestrialize now. Let's do it. And we'll get some life due in here. We'll terrestrialize. We're a water type. I don't know what everyone else is. They may choose to terrestrialize now. Um, I... I don't know what they're bringing to the table. But let's see. Let's have a look. Uh, ice beam. Yeah. Urgh. It's not very effective. But I am frozen. No! Oh, man. Oh, he's trash lazy. He's a bug type. Remove negative effects from itself. Yeah, whatever. Ah, oh, man. Let's do life do again. Oh, two of us are down. Say strike. Oh, this is gonna hurt, right? Oh, I'm still in. I'm still in. All right. We're gonna use life do. It's gonna heal me and possibly the others. I'm not sure. Uh, sword stance. All right, let's go with aura strike again. This, I mean, we haven't touched this guy. Like literally, nothing has touched him. Holy moly! Yeah. All right. So, uh, one thing I did forget to mention is that if you use Mew during one of these raids. Uh, and you win and you catch Mewtwo, you will get a special uh, something or other. Good grief. We can't even get through his crystal armor thing. That's just insane. This. Good grief. Wow. Well, maybe he's unrivaled for this very reason. Okay, let's use light screen. Um, let's at least try. <laughs> Yowzas. Alright, light screen's in effect. Okay, and um, let's go. Yep. I mean, it's not doing much. But I don't think psychics can do much to him either because he's psychic terror type. So, you know, yeah. I think. I mean, obviously, we're not going to do this now. When we come back in, we will go away, take a look at some moves. Uh, see what we can bring in to the game to try and do some serious damage to this guy. Because, oh my days! <laughs> ah, come on. Let's go again. Oh, man alive. I don't understand why we're not touching him. I, I genuinely don't get it. Is this normal? Because I feel like yeah, let's give some life due to everybody. Hopefully I don't get taken out this turn. No, I'm good. Alright, everyone else, enjoy some life due. Get some HP back, guys. There you go. I'm kind of hoping this is like a, a shield thing, so we just don't get to see how much HP we've taken off him. And it's going to reveal it at the end. That's what I'm hoping for, but I don't think that's what's actually happening here. Um, oh my days, have we just started to crack the shell? Is that what's happening? Oh my days, only now we're actually hitting him. Good grief. This is insane. Wow. All right, I mean... I mean, my move's level 100, right? I know that much. I don't know what the other guys are. Um, I'm assuming they're all going to be somewhere up there as well. It's a seven-star raid. Oh, good grief. This is insane. Uh, there isn't much time left. I don't think that matters. I'm not going to lie. I don't think Psychic will actually do anything to him, but we'll have a look-see. Oh, I'm, am I still in? Yeah, I mean, 
all of my attacks are doing very little. That's what, power 80, power 90. I mean, we may as well, right? It's doing a bit more than the other one by 10. It's not a massive thing, but I mean, it's something, I guess. Not that it really matters. I mean, there's no way we're doing this this time. But um, we will keep going until time runs out. And it's time. All right. Wowzers. That is insane. Good grief. Uh, you and the others are blown out of the cavern. Good grief. That was insane. Man alive. All right. Well, I'll tell you what, guys. Mewtwo is tough. That is one solid Pokemon. Okay, so I'm going to go away. I'm going to review my strategy and review my moves. See if we can't teach me some more useful things. And I'll bring you guys back in when I'm ready to go again. All right, Ninja Clan. Welcome back. So we've gone away. I've changed the uh, moveset of Mew. Uh, so what I basically realized was that Psychic Pokemon uh, are really effective against fighting and against... Psychic. So when I was using both those moves on Mewtwo, uh, it was basically pointless. So, I've changed them. Uh, so Psychic Pokemon are weak against Bug, Ghost, and Dark. So I went through all my TMs and basically changed all of Mewtwo's moves to Ghost moves, because they were the best moves I had. Some of them uh, are dependent on the level of Mewtwo. Uh, another important thing to note here is this is very much like the Walk and Wake Iron Leaves thing. I believe that once you've caught Mewtwo, you cannot re-catch him. You can do as many Mewtwo raids as you want, however, you can only catch him one time. So I'm gonna wait for the timer to run down. I'll bring you guys back in when the raid begins. Uh, there's not much time left. There's no way we're gonna do this in the time that we have. It makes me very, very sad. Okay. Boom. Super effective, but it's gathering its energy. Yep, it's gonna kick us out and we're done. Well. Let's go again. Uh, so this is probably not going to work. All right, this is not going well. So once this is done, we will talk about some tactics and some things that we can do to try and help us beat the pants off of this Mewtwo. All right. I tell you what, guys, it's almost done. So I will fade out. And actually, there's no point fading out. He's about to kick me out. There we go. He's going to kick us out. It is over. It is done. That was fast. So let's have a look at Mew a second. Let's check his summary. All right. So you can see here that Mew is a psychic type and his terror type is water. That is not a great terror type. So against Mew 2, which is what I particularly want to use Mew to do, effective things against psychic would be bug, dark, and ghost. Now, a psychic type Pokemon are ineffective against dark type Pokemon. So what I really want to do is change his terror type to dark. So how do we do that well let me show you where is oh it's been a while so give me a second medali is this medali no where is medali where is larry's hometown that's there that's the port that is not up there is that oh there it is here it is let's fight to medali okay we're going to go here, and we're going to go to where Larry's gym is. Okay, and once we get there, what we're going to want to do is we're going to head into uh, the gym itself, into the little restaurant type place. Hello, my friend. Uh, <laughs> trying to hit the door. There we go. And we're going to go talk to a very particular person, and that person is the chef. And you see already, he says, want to change any Pokemon's Terra type uh, and that is exactly what we want to do so we want to talk to him brought me some Terra shards so I can whip up a Terra type changing dish uh, so yes I have so if this is your first time talking to the chef it'll go through some generic text and the chef will actually give you 50 so five zero normal Terra shards 
he'll give you those for free. So if you want to change Pokemon's Terra type to normal, that's very well and good. And that's just the game's way of saying to you, hey, you are going to need 50 Terra Shards. Now, I have gone out, I have done a whole bunch of work, and I have got myself some Dark Terra Shards because we're going to make Mew into a Dark Terra type. So where is Mew? We're going to say goodbye, water, and hello, dark. You want to change Mew's Terra type to dark? Yes, I do. Hold tight then. One life changingly delicious dish coming right up. Om nom 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 nom. There you have it. New, uh, now, Mew's Terra type is dark. If you ever want to make another change, just bring me some more Terra shards. Uh, so the way you get Terra Shards, guys, is basically by taking on Terra Rids. Uh, so whatever whatever type you want to change. So say, for example, we wanted to change Mew back to a water type. Uh, since we come out here, I'll show you. If I wanted to change Mew back to water type, uh, I would look around my map. I would have a look for a water. Of course, there aren't any. It's flying. This There we go. Um, I would go to that Terra Raid, I would take on that Terra Raid, and that's where I'd get the shards from. The higher level the Terra Raid, the more shards you will get of that type. Get 50 of them, it's 5-0, and take them to the chef, and he will change the Terra type for you. Alright, and here we go, it's Mewtwo! Alright, so there are three real people, one of those is the computer. Oh, we got a shiny Mew! Look at that! Uh, right, so the the Masquerada and the Mew are real people. The other one is a fake. Uh, so let's see how we do with our dark type Mew. Now, I will say uh, for the eagle-eyed among you, I have also changed some of Mew's moves. Uh, so he has now got two dark moves and two ghost moves. Uh, we got rid of the water life too and the phantom force because i felt like it was a bit not great so let's see how foul play does against Moo. the side strike is going to happen it shouldn't affect me oh no wait it will affect me for a moment uh oh wow it's not effective but it did like half my damage uh until we can terrestrialize so this is the problem let's use crunch Oh, we're going down like no one's business. Muscarad is down already. Um, alright. That's not helping with time. I'm down to, like, half-life pieces crunch. Is he gonna flinch? Oh, no, that's not what I want to do. I want to use crunch, because I want to see if he can flinch. See if we can make him not attack. I don't know if flinch actually affects these guys. The moment we can terrestrialize things are going to change but until that moment not much is going to happen uh, his defense fell that's great can i terrestrialize this yes all right now now we're in so let's terrestrialize we're going to become a dark type pokemon and his psi effects really i think i'm like 90 percent sure should not affect me anymore and my dark type moves will be far more effective there is something I've also just remembered. Uh, I did mean to put Terra Blast on him. Uh, which I've totally forgotten to do. <laughs> um, so here we go. Now we use Crunch. Nice. Super effective. Ah, you remove all the negativity you want, Uh Right. That is nice. Oh, yeah. Let's use Foul Play. Uh, Aura Sphere. Oh, come on. Ah, uh, okay, well, there goes our Dark Terror type. So now we're back to just being psychic. Uh, we are not going to win this one. Uh, that's really, really annoying. But let's see how effective we can make our Dark type moves. They're going to be super effective. Let's use Foul Play. Because uh, it uses his attack against us. Uh, against himself, really. So let's go. It's not very effective. You could have fooled me. I mean, yeah. Uh, the higher the target's attack stat, the greater damage this does. So, it's 95 base. Uh, he's gone to dark yet. Yeah, good job. That's what I wanted to do. Not happening. 
It's not happening. Oh, he's out. Yeah. All right, let's go back to Crunch. Crunch, I, seen, I think Crunch worked really well. <sighs> All right. Yeah, it's not going well, guys. This guy's a beast. I mean, he's so difficult. Yeah, match over. Isn't much time left. Yeah, it's done. It's dusted. All right, guys, I'm going to fade out, and I'll bring you guys back in on the next attempt. Here we go. Let's go, Mew. You can do it. Just, just do a significant amount of damage. That's all I want you to do. Side strike. Doesn't affect Mew. Excellent. Okay, Terror Blast. Kapow. Excellent. A tiny sliver. He's going to lose Mountain Dew. Or Life Dew. <laughs> uh, he's going to... Wow! Did he one hit me? Yeah, he did. Well, that's rubbish. So, okay, that's only helpful for like one turn. Oh, we're so close. Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I don't think. Oh, it's not gonna happen. Oh, did someone die? Oh, our blue friend died. Oh no! Oh, look how close we got! Ah! Uh. All right. Here we go. Four real people, all with Moo. Let's do this time. Okay. So, for you guys, it's been a couple of minutes. For me, it's actually been like a whole day. Um. This is a new day for me. New day. Yes, it is. So, here we go. Today is the day this video is being released on YouTube. So, I've only got a limited amount of time to actually catch Moo before this video actually goes out and you guys get to watch it. So, let's have a look-see. Now, I have... Um, I've seen a couple of videos now where people are basically saying that bug type is the best way to go. The bug terror type. A lot of that is to do, however, with um, if you're in a team of four people that you know, uh, then that works really well. The problem is, I am not in a team of people I know. Uh, I have to play with random people. I don't know enough people to... Oh, wow. Oh, he's burnt! Wow, okay. I don't really know enough people to put a full team of moves and stuff together. So, uh, I'm going to stick with my my ghost type for the moment. I'm going to try it another one, maybe two times. If that doesn't work, maybe I'll consider going out and seeing if I can get that grass type. Uh, the bug type even, and changing up to bug type. Because uh, Terra Blast will still work with that. Uh, there was one, there's a mist, oh, what? Ah, I forget what the name of it's called. Uh, there was a cool thing that somebody said about putting a mist. If I remember the name of the move, I'll let you guys know. Uh, yeah, let's 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 terrestrialize. Let's do it. Um, ah, it's a mist move. Anyway, you put the mist down, and it stops him from falling asleep, which means he can't rest, and then he can't use his berry uh, when we get that far. If we get that far, um, it's not looking very promising this round. Uh, so he's going to use size strike. I'm hoping we're going to miss. No, he's going to hit me. Oh no! Oh rubbish! Ah, uh, maybe I was a bit too hasty with my terrestrialization. All right. Yeah, yeah, it's a happening. Okay, I'm a fade out, guys, and I'll bring you guys back in for the next attempt. Super effective, struck by leech life. Oh, the shield is down! The shield is down! Alright, he is going to... Yeah, that's fine. Uh, he's going to use rest. This is really irritating. He's asleep. Then he's going to use a berry to wake himself up. So I have to some HP. Oh, man! That's all of his HP! Alright, Terra Blast. Here we go, come on! Oh, and even then, it's not a lot. 
good grief. Okay, come on then. Man, the first time we took that shield down, I'm convinced he did not get all of his health back. I do wonder if Terra Blast is maybe not. Yeah, let's pile on. Come on. Let's pile on the shots. Uh, I've only got three Terra Blasts left anyway, so let's just wear them out. We may as well, because it's not going to do much. Come on. Keep everyone in the game. Whatever those people are using. What are they using? That's a great move against him. Alright, stay in the game. Come on, stay in the game. Stay in the game. Please, somebody heal me. Struggle bug. Oh, someone's gone down. No! We all need to stay in the game at this point. Leech life. I think I need to get myself some of that. Uh, 80, 70. Okay. Let's start using this. Um, so at least it'll lower his special defense. Oh, my. Please tell me I'm still in. Oh, my days were so close. I, I want to get excited, but I'm afraid to get excited. Uh, did basically nothing to him. Okay. Nullified. Ah, come on. Yeah, let's just use Terra Blast. Oh, come on. Oh, if he say strikes me now, I'm down. I need someone to heal me. Please, because if I go down, that's the end. No! Oh, no. That'll wipe out time. I need to get... Yeah. No! Oh, we were so close. So close. All right. Yep, I genuinely think that bug type strategy is awesome. So I'm going to go away, and for the third time this raid, I'm going to change my terror type again. I'm going bug. I'm going bug. I'm going to get some leech life, struggle bug, and find out what that bite didn't move was. That was amazing, whatever they were using. I'm going to go away. I'm going to do that, and I will come back with my next attempt, guys. All right, guys, here we go. So three real people... One computer. It's... Uh, okay. So I've gone away. I've changed his terror type to bug. I have uh, linked the video in the comments below. In the description, comments, whatever. Uh, I've linked the video below. And hopefully you can get the play for play and the strategy from that video. Um, but for now, let's try and take this thing on. So we are going to use the first three turns struggle bug so for three turns straight we're going to be using struggle bug that's going to lower his special defense okay uh, I'm avoiding stuff we're going to use using struggle bug for three turns that's one two ouch And three. Or a sphere, it's not going to be effective. Okay. See, the problem with having this AI in here is that it's going to die really quick and it's going to wipe out our time. Right? That was three, right? So now we're going to trash those into turn three. No, did I do two or three? Do you know what? Let's not trash those. Let's do another struggle bug. Because I can't remember if that was two or three. So let's do another struggle bug for three. Alright, and then that's definitely three, so then we go turn four, terrestrialize, and we're going to start using Sword Dance. For three turns. So this is turn one. And hopefully this works. What's supposed to happen is you're supposed to have a, um, a support move. That's going to heal you up every single time. Uh, where that's actually going to happen. Oh, no. Okay. So I'm going to have to change the strategy. Uh, I'm going to start using... Oh, good. Okay. Uh, he's a new sword dance. I'm going to use Leaf Fletch. 
Leech Leech. <laughs> You're not supposed to really start doing this until turn 7, but I'm going to start using Leech Life now. Just because I need the... Uh, I think the other guy's doing the same thing. Yeah, I think he may be using the same strat. Oh no, he's using Sword Dance. Um, yeah, I'm going to do that. Now, Metronome, what that's going to do is it's going to increase the amount of damage Leech leech life does so i'm holding metronome it's going to increase the damage as time goes on so the more i use it consistently the more damage i'm going to be doing to him so we're going to do that the problem is now is that i'm gonna to have to stop using it uh so we're going to use sword dance to increase my see that that um ubosa ubosa's um Zelda. Umbreon. There we go. That Umbreon's gone down. Struggle Bug. Leech Life. Yep. Uh, let's use another Sword Dance. Uh, what's he using? Side Strike. Yeah. Okay. See, this is where we could have really used that fourth move. Uh, but we're all doing basically the same thing. Okay. So we're back to Leech Life. He's going to negate things from himself. Uh, so we're gonna go back to struggle bug just to bring him back down He's gonna use thunder wave yeah, meh. Okay, we are all using a very similar strategy. Yeah Here we go. All right struggle bug Mud slap critical hit well done mud slap. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do that for two turns uh, struggle bug again I, oh, I'm going to need to use the Leech Life soon. This is where we need that third support move, really. So I'm going to have to start using Leech Life a sec. Which is a shame, because I really want that metronome to kick in. You avoided the attack, that's great. Let's use Leech Life. Um, we're all using Leech Life now. Okay, we're all in. Let's all just... Okay, I think we're piling with Leech Life. He's using Size Strike. It's going to hurt, but not massively. Let's... Yeah, Leech Life. What are you guys using? Super effective. Yep. I think I would have liked at least one more. On our side. So now we need to go back to using Sword Stance. To increase my attack again and this is the problem it's breaking up that metronome um, so yeah so two or three swords dance I think the big problem with this strategy or not so much the strategy the big problem right now is that that one computer um, but we're doing okay we're doing okay sort of <laughs> all right here we go. Uh, let's do one more Swords Dance. And then I'm going to go back to Leech Life. Uh, that's not going to do much at all. Alright. Uh, actually, do you know what? I'm going to do Struggle Bug. Let's see if that actually... I mean, because it's going to hurt him as well. I need to increase the PP of Leech Life, I think. I think that's what I need to do. Um, but this is working much, much better than anything else that I have done so far. So, right. Now, I'm going to get ready to use Misty Terrain. How long does that last for? We're going to use Misty Terrain. Because it's if his shield goes down, Misty Terrain will stop him from using rest. So we're going to use Misty Terrain. That way, if his shield goes down this turn, he is not going to be able to use um, rest. Oh, I'm going to need to stay in. Yeah, we're staying in. So Misty Terrain is down. Let's use Leech Life. Let's take it out. He won't be able to use rest. Come on, take his shield out. Take his shield out. 
Somebody take a shield out! Drink to energy. Yep, yeah, come on. Yeah, shield is down. Okay, so he's not going to be able to use rest. Which means he can't use his berry. So he's going to stay at half life. So here we go! Leech life. I'm going all in with leech life now. We're doing it! We're doing it! Uh, affected our side, so my attack's gone down. Ah! Right, struggle bug. Let's bring him down. Okay, it's working. Struggle bug, yeah. Special attack fell. At one, two. Oh, come on! Oh, and he's paralyzed! Is he paralyzed? No, nope, maybe not. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I got too excited. He's not paralyzed, but we're really close. We're doing well. This is an excellent strategy. Uh, thank you, Austin John, for making this video. Um, yes, he is paralyzed. Excellent. Okay, struggle bug. Okay, that is three turns of struggle bag. I'm gonna move back now to leech life and start doing some damage. Let me just bulk up. Okay, here we go. He's paralyzed, that's great. I've only got four leech life left. This is a little bit oh, I should have used swords dance. But okay. But you know what? Actually we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Uh how much life yeah, okay, I might move to swords dance. Although metronome. Ah! Right, actually, do you know what we'll do? We will use Leech Life. Let's use Leech Life. Uh, because Metronome is going to help with that. I've only got three left. He hasn't got a lot of life left. We're very close now, guys. This could be it. Oh, that, is that Umbreon still in the game? Ooh, I don't know what's happening. Okay. Leech life. Let's just wear out leech life and then I'll swords dance and hopefully struggle bug will seriously, seriously help. Okay, well I've never got to a point where he's red before and this is like my 10th attempt. So, okay. What we need now is for everyone to stay in the game. As long as nobody drops out. Last leech life with the metronome. That's four in a row. Oh my days! Okay! No! Ho! 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 Lee! Guacamole! Alright! Come on! Is that it? Shut the front door! Struggle bag! He's out! He's out! He's down! Don't play with my emotions, Pokemon! Is that it? It looks like that might be it, guys! Did I catch Mewtwo? Yes! Oh, yes! Catch! Uh, what ball do you want to use? Uh, yeah, let's use a dream ball because this is a dream scenario. Oh, yes! <laughs> oh, my days! Oh, what a way to end this video! In the ball, in the bag, Mewtwo's mine! Yes! Oh, thank you, everybody, who joined us for this video. Look at that! Oh, <laughs> oh my days! All right, let me calm down. Bunch of XP, King's Rock, uh, Bright Powder, Gold Bottle Cap, Ability Patch, Psychic, 100 Psychic Terror Shards, Yowzers, Comet Shard, Comet Shard, XP, PPF, Wow! 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 Alright! Oh, well, look at that. Okay, so, guys, I cannot, and I mean this, I cannot recommend this strategy enough. This is, with three players, even with one computer AI, that was good. We had time to spare. 
That was incredible. Let me try and push the right button. So, if I am correct, let's check the summary. So, I changed his terror type to bug. Uh, that was great. Again, you get 50 terror shards to the chef in Medali where Larry's gym was. He'll cook you up a special meal. You can change it. Change it to bug. It's amazing. Uh, move set was leech life, sword stand, struggle bug, and misty terrain. Now, I will say this. Because I'm not coordinating with anybody else and I'm doing this solo, the reason I took Misty Terrain, uh, so when if you watch the Austin John video uh, that's linked down below, um, he will recommend taking uh, Life Do to help heal up your team, okay? That's if you're working in a team of four or three people and you're all coordinating together. I'm not coordinating with anybody, so I decided to take Misty Terrain to stop him healing. Because then, at least I know it's going to be used and we're going to stop him from doing that. And that was the game changer. Laying down Misty Terrain, if you're on your own, this is what I recommend. This was incredible. Go check out the strategy in the video below. It's incredible. It's amazing. Thank you again, Austin John. For that um, and somewhere uh, and I only know this because I saw Austin John's uh, video somewhere I don't know where Mightiest Mark shows up but apparently the move that you use also gets Mightiest Mark nope wrong one we don't want to go uh, boxes there we go let's take a look at him where is he level 100 move 2 we got Psy Strike, Aura Sphere, Ice Beam, Calm Mind Let's check out his summary. Uh, psychic Terror type. Original trainer is myself. He still has his Chesso Berry because he never used it. That's flipping amazing. Um, uh, yep, he's in a dream ball because that was a dream match. And there we go. Current ribbon or mark. So where does my dearest mark show up? Should it show up there? Oh, there we go. I see. So a name, my dearest mark, a mark for an especially mighty Pokemon number obtained one. So you can only ever catch uh, one move, which means if we check the summary here, check that out, there we go. We've got Mightiest Mark and Classic Ribbon, a ribbon that proclaims love for Pokemon. Okay, uh, I'm not sure what that is for, but there we go. I've got that. Uh, Mew, the Pokemon fan, it might be because I downloaded it. This is the Mew I got from the uh, the code. If you don't have Mew yet, you can get your own Mew by going to your Poker Portal. Uh, going to the mystery box or mystery gift and typing in the code. Get the code or password. Uh, yep, ignore that. Uh, get your Mew, which would be G E T. Oh, that's, that's not get. Uh, where's B? There we go. I'm far too excited. Get. Zero, your Mew. Obviously, I can't type that again because I've already got this code. Uh, but that's what you need to type in to get your own Mew. You have got until Sunday. You've basically got a week or Monday, depending on the times. I'll put a screen up right here with all the regular times on it for you to see when they run out. Guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I am so excited. This Wednesday, in two days' time, the DLC drops. And I'm going to give you some spoilers. You ready for some big spoilers here? I got it. It's ready to go. I am so excited to be playing the DLC. And now I can play the DLC with Mew and Mewtwo. Super excited. Thank you for joining me for this episode today. If you enjoyed this episode, click that like button, click that subscribe button, and share this video with your friends, your family, and your various communities. Until I meet you again on Wednesday in the Paldea region, I have been the Atomic Ninja G. You guys have been awesome. And this has been Pokemon Violet, the hunt for Mewtwo.